Hey there, we are in this video, we are going to uh, watch brief about types of anesthesia. So we'll move on. So before everything, we need to know what is the anesthesia. So anesthesia is a form of gradual induced state of temporary loss of sensation, consciousness or reflexes, typically achieved through the administration of specific drugs, often used to facilitate medical procedures and surgeries. So in here, what is anesthesia is, we are going to temporary loss the state of, we are the state of temporary loss of sensation, consciousness or reflexes. So patient may not be able to feel what is happening. Okay. So we are uh, going to do this through the administration of specific drug, which is called anesthetics. So we are using this for the medical procedure and surgeries because through the anesthesia, the patient may not feel the pain. This is the main purpose. There are some minor purposes also of the types of anesthesia. So the types of anesthesia, this the, these terms, depending on the guidelines and things, there are some common uh, using, uh, some terms are there and uh, the some terms may be, uh, that's maybe very uh, with the country, that's depending on the country guidelines and technologies. So each type of anesthesia shows a, serves a specific purpose and is used based on the nature of the medical procedure and the patient's need. So general anesthesia, local anesthesia, regional anesthesia, monitored anesthesia, care, sedation, combined spinal deward anesthesia, the local infiltration anesthesia, the topical anesthesia and intravenous sedation. So I need to say these again, these types depending on the, the country guidelines, the type of anesthesia that's depending on the, based on the nature of medical procedure and the patient's need. Uh, with the patient is contraindicated to these types of anesthesia or patient is not suitable to do the, these types of anesthesia. Before doing uh, the major types of anesthesia, we are going to do a referral. So anesthesia referral is there. Uh, if patient is fair to be, uh, if we are going to uh, refer the patients, whether the patient is suitable for the general anesthesia or not. So after the referral, the patient is not suitable, we have to go for a, another types of anesthesia. So, and that's depending on the also the nature of the medical procedure, whether it's a mild procedure, whether it's a major surgery, that's depending on, okay. So the general anesthesia, this is a type of induced a deep state of unconsciousness. Uh, rendering the patients completely unaware and without sensation. It's commonly used for major surgeries and procedures. So on the other hand, we can uh, introduce general anesthesia as a reversible state of central nervous system depression, causing loss of uh, re response and response to and perception to patient's nervous system. So there's examples, the major open heart surgeries, brain surgeries, abdominal surgeries, the open transplant surgeries, so in here, I need to uh, tell this strictly. The please note that this list is not exhaustive, and the decision to use general anesthesia for any specific procedure should be made by the medical professional based on the individual patient factors and medical guidelines. So the local anesthesia, local anesthesia involves. So the local anesthesia, local anesthesia you know, numbing a specific area of the body, such as injecting an anesthesia around a nerve or into a tissue, the patient remains conscious but doesn't feel pain in the localized area. Here we are uh, picking the specific area to anesthetize. So the patient is conscious but he doesn't feel pain in the localized area. Kind of uh, there are some examples, eye procedures, the like the corneal procedures, dental procedures. Uh, such as tooth extraction, peelings, the minor skin surgery, such as mold removal, skin biopsies. So what is the regional anesthesia? Regional anesthesia is similar to local anesthesia. And here what we are going to do is regional anesthesia blocks sensation in a large area of the body. The often an entire limb. Examples including epidural and spinal anesthesia. So you can see the examples, epidural anesthesia, the epidural anesthesia we are uh, doing uh, when uh, the childbirth is happening, the pain relief during a labor, low abdominal or pelvic surgeries, spinal anesthesia we are going to use some low abdominal surgeries, uh, the lower limb surgeries. So the peripheral nerve blocks also we are using the, uh, the regional anesthesia, uh, upper limb surgeries, lower limb surgeries. So the monitored anesthesia care. In MAC, the monitor in monitor anesthesia care, 
the patient receives sedative and pain relieving medication to keep in the combination of yeah the combination of drug is we are giving the sedatives and also we are giving the pain relieving medication to keep the patient relaxed and comfortable while remaining the conscious so it's often used for the minor procedures so examples the colonoscopy cataract surgeries the endoscopy the dental procedures skin lesion removal in, in, in those are the not specifically we are not using only the monitor anesthesias. Okay? So sometimes for the cataract surgery, we have to uh, go another type of anesthesia. And the colonoscopy, we have to go another type of anesthesia. So that's depending on the patient needs and based on the surgeries. These are the common in the monitor anesthesia. Okay? We are commonly using this type of surgeries. But if patient is not suitable for these types of anesthesia, we have to go for the another type of anesthesia. So sedation. Sedation involves administrating medication to relax and calm the patient. It can range from uh, minimal sedation to deep sedation. So in here, uh, we are sedated the patient. It's kind of a relaxed mood. Okay, so we are going to relax the patient. Uh, it can range from minimal sedation to deep sedation. We are we'll look on another video what are sedative drugs, uh, how we are going to do this. So the examples: dental procedures, endoscopic procedures, diagnostic procedures. So you can see what are the examples for the dental procedures such as tooth extraction, root canals, the dental implant placement, the endoscopic procedures such as gastroscopy, the bronchoscopy and sigmoidoscopy, the diagnos diagnostic procedure, diagnostic images uh, such as MRI, uh, the CT scans and PET scans. So for this, we are going to uh, the sedation. The purpose of sedation, we are going to relax the patient. We are going to reduce the anxious level of the patients. So then the combined spinal epidural anesthesia. So in here, this uh, combines the benefit of both spinal and epidural anesthesia. It provides rapid pain relief with the spinal component and longer lasting pain relief with the epidural component. So the, what are the example? examples? Examples and lab and deliver we are uh, using this combined spinal epidural anesthesia uh, so for the the purpose of this is pain relief during early labor uh, convertible to epidural as labor progresses the cesarean sections we are using rapid spinal anesthesia combined with epidural anesthesia for surgery and post-operative pain control the pain management in the labor the mobility during the labor while maintaining the effective pain relief the selective pain management, the orthopedic procedures and regular surgery, we are using this. In here, the thing is, we are combined. The, there is spinal anesthesia is there, epidural anesthesia is there. We are using this for the as a combination. Local infiltration anesthesia. This use for the smaller procedures. Local infiltration involves injecting a local anesthesia directly into a tissue to number specific area. So we are going to numb the specific area and relieve the pain from that area by doing the procedure. So those examples are direct uh, dental procedures, spinal skin procedures, suturing and wound closure. So then the topical anesthesia, this involves applying anesthetic creams, gels or sprays to the skin or mucous membranes to numb the specific area. So the examples. The dermatological procedures, skin biopsies, removal of uh, warts or skin tags, la laser hair removal, intravenous insertion, uh, the lumbar puncture, and also there is a common that we are we are using the lignogen as a topical anesthetic cream. So lignogen we are using NG insertion, the the NG the nasogastric tube insertion, and the some catheterization also we are using the lignogen. That's a very common uh, for the topical anesthesia. Lignogen we are using as a lignogen cream. There is a lignogen cream and IV lignogen also there. Lignogen cream we are using uh, while uh, inserting the nasogastric tube and the catheterization. We are using the catheterization. The intravenous uh, sedation. Sedative medication administered through as intravenous line to induce relaxation and reduce anxiety during its procedures. So examples are dental procedures. The, the examples means we are using those, the intravenous sedation, these kind of surgeries. The wisdom teeth removal, the extensive dental work, the implant placement, gastrointestinal procedures, colonoscopy, upper endoscopy, uh, the endoscopic retrograde conjure pancreatography, the endotonic procedures, root canal treatment, the orthopedic procedures such as the joint manipulation, 
and uh, closed reduction of fractures. So, okay, thank you. Those are the types of uh, anesthesia we are using.